Welcome to this WordPress tutorial. This topic is actually revisiting uh, a topic we've previously covered, which was uploading media files to WordPress. The uh, reason we're, re we're, we're coming back to it is because uh, a new version of WordPress has just been released in the last week or so, WordPress 3.9. Um, so if you've got that version or above, this will apply to what we're going to show you here. Um, if you've got an older version, some of it will apply, not all of it. So I wanted to show how much easier it's gotten to actually bring in media files. And I'm talking about photos, uh, you know, documents like PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, Word docs, that sort of thing. So let's get right to it. I am, at our, I am in my mock website here, and I'm just going to edit this page here. And you'll notice there's nothing in the rich text editor. We're going to, of course, change that. Um, real quick, brief history. Previously, you had to click this Add Media option. So that's step one. And then you were given the ability to upload your, your, your media content into the media library well. Uh, now, it's much easier than that. You could skip doing that, and you can go, and I've got my images here handy to show you. You can literally just grab photos and drag it right into the rich text editor and you notice the entire editor uh, window turns blue and it and it tells you to drop files to upload um, and again this doesn't have to be just photos it could be mixed media it can be only documents it can be whatever you you know any kind of accepted uh, media content that WordPress allows which would be JPEGs GIFs PNGs dot DOCs dot PDFs dot X, XLS um, and .csv, I guess, um, and there might be m more than that, but those are the, kind of the mainstream file types we use every day. Um, so, anyways, uh, you'll so I'll just uh, kind of show you here real quick how to do the uh, photos. I'm gonna shift drag here a couple images uh, with my mouse, drag them right in, and one by one they'll upload into this media library. Well. You'll notice they both have check marks next to them. WordPress is presupposing that you are going to insert both of these files into the page. You don't have to do that. You, if you, if you decide, you know what, I actually just I want to have them uploaded, but I will, um, I'll come back around and decide exactly where I want to place these at. You can just X out of this and move on, move right along, or Let's let's just suppose you do want to insert one or both of these photos, or maybe you want to insert uh, another photo altogether. But for this for this uh, this particular tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and just do the one photo. So, like I mentioned, there's on the top right corner of each of these images is a little check mark, and you'll notice it turns into a minus option. That'll allow you to deselect as it shows there in the little hover um, alt text uh, window. Um, so I'm just going to uh, deselect this chrysanthemum flower here and just deal with the Grand Canyon uh, photo. Um, if you veer over to the right, you get all the particular options that are available to you for that 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 instance that photo instance. Um, so you can, you know, deal with things like SEO title. Um, this is basically uh, if you're if you're gung ho about dealing with search engine optimization, which is what SEO means, um, you can identify the photo uh, by providing you know, a keyword or two of what it is, because Google's obviously not going to know what that image is um, if you don't got any kind of a description behind it. Uh, so totally optional. I'm not going to go into much more detail than to let you know that that's available. Uh, caption uh, is probably you'll probably use that from time to time if you want to act if you want to showcase a photo and have a little picture frame with a with a caption inside the picture frame right directly below the photo totally do that um, just enter the the desired text that you want to show here I wouldn't worry about these two I'm not going to go over them uh, but nine times out of ten this will be the only things you deal with which will be right down here you'll align the photo um, and you know of course, the obvious left, center, right, or none options are available. You can link the photo to the larger version of the photo, which is what the media library, uh, media file, excuse me, is. Don't worry about attachment page. You can also choose to link the photo to a custom URL, whatever web address, if you wanted to say, have that 
photo link to google.com. You can totally do that if you wanted to. I don't know why you would, but you can. Um, but usually, uh, you uh, people will either select media file or none if they just want the, the image to be embedded, unclickable, and just be show it in all its glory, and that'd be the end of it. Uh, and then finally, uh, you have the ability to resize the photo. <clears throat> WordPress provides out of the box three options: thumbnail, media, medium, excuse me, and full size. On occasion, depending on the resolution of the photo you're uploading, if it's a high res photo, you might get a large option. But we're going to deal with what we have on this particular photo. We're going to go ahead and insert it in full size. <clears throat> and once you've got that done, just click on this insert into page option. And there it is. There's your photo right directly embedded into your rich text editor. Now Another cool feature that just got released with WordPress 3.9, again, this is a new feature, you have to have 3.9 or above, is you can actually select the photo and resize it manually. Previously, you had to go through this arduous process of editing the photo and picking a percentage that you wanted it to show at. No more is that the case. Uh, this this editor window has been redefined and rebuilt from the ground up, and now you have the luxury of just dragging uh, however your uh, to your heart's content as to what the size will end up be being with the uh, with the image so that's a much welcome feature uh, that a lot of people have complained about with WordPress that is now available so yeah just you can you can literally just drag and uh, you know and drop it however you uh, however you please um, so that's pretty much how you do that. Um, and obviously just hit a update and we'll look at the live version and there you go. Uh, let's go back to edit the page. I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, we're going to delete this photo. Uh, you just click into the photo and click the X. Uh, this by the way is just to edit further edit the photo. If you want to go back in and tweak it, you decided to align it, you decided to maybe manually size it by pixels, uh, link it, uh, you, you wanted to go go ahead and link it to the media file, so on and so forth. You can do that. Uh, do some advanced options. I won't go into too much detail except the fact that you can uh, have whatever it links to. Open a new tab by checking this box. Uh, you can actually edit the photo. and We'll go over all these particulars in separate tutorials, but you can edit the photo, crop it, rotate it. Uh, some very minor things, um, but you can totally um, do that. You can replace the photo. Another Welcome change to 3.9 is now you can replace the photo as opposed to having to delete it first, then come back, then insert the photo you wanted. You could just hit replace and pick the photo, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And there it is, voila. Um, so that's as simple as that. Clicking replace, picking the photo, you're done. Editing the original is what the edit options I was showing you. Uh, that you have the ability to do. You can crop the photo, and again, we'll go into how to do that later. You can do rotation, and uh, you can uh, flip it vertically and horizontally, um, and there's some other uh, options available to your right. But we're not going to go into that because that's a separate tutorial. We're just going to deal with uh, inserting it, and there it is. And now we're going to finally delete it. Sorry for veering off there a little bit, <laughs> but... Uh, just wanted to just show you that those options were available. And finally, I wanted to show you how to upload. I actually skip the uploading part and just insert a media file. Let's, pre, let, let's just presuppose that you've already uploaded the file. Uh, same protocol, you drag it in and you uh, upload it. Um, and I've got a, a, a sample document in here. It's a PDF. Uh, you can title the PDF. This is a PDF. Click me. Uh, that'll be what actually shows on your text link. L you probably most likely will want to leave that on media file by default most occasions and this just gives you the URL of the document if you wanted to have that for whatever reason. Insert it into page and there is the text you've typed up. If you decide, you know what, I didn't want to name it that way. There's not a similar option as what you know, photos had where you can click and then go back to edit mode. Unfortunately, you just have to do it here. Uh, and I like to, you know, of course, highlight uh, in between the first letter and the last letter and type whatever I want and then delete. Uh, 
those two pieces out once I'm done. Of course, I typed in some gibberish, but that's just for demo purposes. And the reason I did that is because if I did something like this, where did my link go? And that's why I like to go that route. Uh, of course, you can undo at any point. Hope you found this uh, video tutorial very resourceful. Uh, again, I'm going to be covering more topics to, uh, that have to do with photo manipulation and how to resize and crop and the whole nine yards. That will be in a subsequent tutorial. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.